Hello, I'm Chris from the RV Mobile Internet Resource Center here again with another um, un product unboxing video for you. And this one is the SureCall Fusion To Go RV, a new RV bundle of booster and antennas um, from uh, SureCall. And this was sent to us by the folks at uh, repeaterstore.com. Um, they thought we'd like to take a closer look at this booster. It is a competitor to uh, similar offerings from WeBoost. And so let's uh, take a closer look at what's in this new kit. Paper, 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 paper. <laughs> there we go. Let's get that out of the way. So one of the things here, this is the interior antenna for this booster when this kit is set up we've seen the pictures online as um, rather than having the t traditional little paddle antennas or other things like that you'll actually have the interior antenna from the booster plugged right into the booster itself now let's see the rest of the parts we got here we got wow this is a 40 feet of um uh, cable that they're giving in this kit uh, is probably handle just about any installation challenge. It's a big heavy gauge cable with no adapters on either end. It goes straight from an N connector to an FME connector. So um, no uh, no loss from adapters on either ends of the cables. So this is actually some pretty hefty, impressive cable here. Next up, we've got this looks like the power supply. This is six volt, two point eight amp. Let's see what we got in here. So this is an AC power supply to plug in to your wall and into the booster there. Piece aside. This is the SureCall full band outside Omni antenna. got looks like clamps for pole mounting here as well as uh, looks like wall stud mounting and there, there's a wall clamp and there's the antenna so it looks like you would clamp it here and then clamp this to a wall. And reasonable height to put on top of an RV, not overwhelmingly tall. Um, would mount nicely to a ladder um, and end connector on the bottom for hooking to the antenna cable. There we go. And now we've got the booster itself. Let's get rid of this box. And looks like they're including here. So these might have just been the extra components for the RV kit. And then they're including the full Fusion to go vehicle kit here. And yeah, so this has got the 12 volt power supply, the booster a mag mount antenna and the inside patch antenna. So looks like you actually could leave these set up on your vehicle, put these other antennas in your RV and move it back and forth. Nice potential perk. Or potentially put the higher gain antenna on a pole and I'll have it for temporary setup. Yes, and have the mag mount antenna As permanent. Your antenna. Uh, user guide. Little Decently explanatory user guide here. Guide to what the yellow lights would mean on the front of it. So it looks like yellow, red flashing lights are the warnings they have here. More in depth user's guide. And then let's take a look at this booster itself. 
The last time we looked at a share call booster in person was the old Triflex, which was carrier specific. You either had an AT&T or a Verizon version, three bands. This is actually a five band booster. Looks like oh. all the major carriers. And something fell out. Not the so very tight packaging on there. Yep. Something small was in there. I don't know what it was. So, actually, pretty hefty, strong, good feeling uh, metal container here. Um, FME connectors on either side for an outside antenna, inside antenna. Um, power input, it can take between 5 volts and 15 volts input with a little on off switch. Actually, the um, flexibility of the power in supply is quite nice. And then this is something that makes the um, uh, sure call boosters a bit unique and uh, potentially interesting, good or bad, is you actually can adjust the gain on the five bands um, separately. So 50, it would be full power, but you could dial back bands that you, maybe you've got one that you're trying to block, turn the booster down on that, or if you're in an area where you're trying to balance oscillation or not, you can manually adjust the power of each band. Um, most other boosters try to do that automatically behind the scenes. This one actually gives you the manual control. We've got the um, 700 megahertz AT&T band and a T-Mobile band would also be in there as well. The 700 megahertz Verizon band. This is the 850 megahertz traditional cellular band. The 1900 megahertz um, um, PCS band, and then this would be the 1700 slash 2100 megahertz um, LTE band 4 here. It would be nice if they'd actually labeled the LTE bands as opposed to making you have to kind of translate between LTE bands and the labels, but we'll see. Now these adjustments, I guess you use a small screwdriver or your fingertips to adjust how much gain each one of those bands is putting out. Let's see what else is in this kit here. We got, um, I guess this is for wall mounting it. Uh, some little stud things. You could just screw this in and attach it to a wall. Um, and oh, they actually have a guide to the band slightly on the back, but it still does not tell you the normal user friendly um, LTE bands. Um, we've got here the inside paddle antenna. Okay. Over here we've got their outside antenna, which is actually their outside antenna is a bit tall. Their mag mount looks like it's there to there for vehicle antenna, and then 12 volt power supply. And I guess because the their booster can take a range of voltage inputs, this does not need a power conversion brick, which gets in the way when you're um, wiring up a tech cabinet. Something we don't like about the WeBoost boosters is they've got that little brick that you have to find some place to tuck. So makes for cleaner wiring there. And the way this would, I guess, normally work as an RV kit is you would actually screw in the inside antenna right to the booster itself. which then means everything that you want to boost will need to be within a few feet of the booster itself. Which, if you're doing a tech cabinet approach, right. makes a cleaner installation without a whole bunch of wires that you have to uh, yeah. coil up. So you can mount this on the wall on your tech cabinet. It makes for a really nice clean installation. You'll have your best possible boost right here in front of it. And you'll probably get some um, boost throughout your RV, but again, always the best performance we've found in every booster we've tested is really, really close to the inside antenna on the booster. So that's where you should optimize on keeping your devices. And if you need to get the boost further away from where you install the booster, then you would use the paddle antenna that's on the wire um, so that you can then move this mm -hmm. paddle around and then anything that's within close proximity to this little candy bar would get the boost. Yeah. So this is the WeBoost Fusion no, to it is not no WeBoost. sorry this is the <laughs> SureCall competitor to WeBoost Fusion to Go RV kit. Um, we are eager to check this one out as our first SureCall booster in a while since the old Triflex, um, and uh, see how this does compared to all the rest. So there we go.
Okay, quick addendum, we found what fell. It was a little screw that was from this little hole here on the antenna mount. Um, presumably it was either stripped or not screwed in very tightly. We'll try and screw that back in. Hopefully it's not a problem. Thank you.